Are you interested in starting a plastic recycling business? Then you are in the right place. In this video, you're going to learn the 10 reasons why new plastic recycling businesses fail and how to prevent it. So let's get started. And make sure to push the like button. A lot of likes tell the algorithm to push the video to more people who like that same content. With your support, you can help this channel a lot. Some experts claim that up to 95% of new plastic recycling businesses fail within five years. Others say the number is around 65%. Either way, these are staggering figures when one takes into account that most new plastic recycling businesses fail for more or less the same reasons. And make sure to watch this video through to the end, because I will be sharing a business plan template that will be very helpful. Reason 1. Inadequate planning. As simple as it sounds, lack of forethought and planning is the main culprit behind virtually every business failure. Thankfully, 75% of most plastic recycling business ideas fail at the planning stage, which is exactly where a business idea should fail. The only other option is to collapse on the street, perhaps under a pile of debt. Inadequate planning includes not fully understanding a product or service before selling it, not conducting detailed market or labor research, not compiling a realistic customer profile, not researching the competition, not selecting a proper business model, not determining all costs beforehand, or in general, not doing enough preliminary work to determine if all the numbers add up. In short, running a plastic recycling business without a well-researched plan is like hacking through a jungle without a map. Put another way, if you don't have the time or inclination to plan, write down, investigate, and analyze what it is you want to do in regards to starting a plastic recycling business, then you probably don't have what it takes to succeed, period. Reason 2. Underestimating the commitment it takes to succeed. In a world where almost everything is wanted on a silver platter the moment it's demanded, it's easy to forget that quality and strength take time to acquire. For example, it can take up to six months or longer to put together a plastic recycling business plan and as much as five to seven years to establish a solid customer base. I'll use the story of the photocopier to illustrate this point. The idea of photocopying text instead of making copies by hand was the brainchild of Chester Carlson. Over the years, Carlson offered his idea to over 20 companies including IBM and Kodak, yet each turned the invention down by explaining that photocopiers weren't needed because carbon paper was good enough. Much to his credit, Carlson persisted, eventually winning over the president of a small photographic paper company who agreed to fund the development of what he saw as a promising new idea. The result was the launch of Xerox, a company that reached $1 billion in sales, faster than any other business in history up to then. It took over 20 years and brought several people to the brink of financial ruin, but persistence, dedication, and a good idea paid off. Reason 3 Cash flow problems. If passion, commitment, and planning are more important than money, then why do cash flow problems appear at the top of the reasons why business fail list? Think of it this way money isn't needed to conceive a baby, but once a baby is born, it needs to be fed, and the bigger a baby gets, the more food it needs. So it is with a business. Too many entrepreneurs confuse the word cash with the word profit thinking that they're one and the same. Profit is a word for accountants. Cash is what a business feeds on in order to survive. Employees, banks, and many suppliers must be paid in cash, not profit percentages. If customers take more than 30 days to make their payments, a business could be in trouble if it needs those payments to cover expenses. One of the most difficult things to explain to wannabe entrepreneurs is that profitable businesses all too often end up going bust due to cash problems because much of the world runs on credit. Even a business with $20 million in sales can face bankruptcy if it can't meet its payment obligations while waiting for customers to pay for what they purchased. Reason 4. Poor Management 
entrepreneurship is the death of management. Paradoxically, it's also been said that management is the death of entrepreneurship. What these comments refer to is the belief that after setting up a business, too many entrepreneurs stiffen into rigid managers that are guided by routines, a problem that probably arises due to the fact that most people don't know what good management is about. In short, management is not about being a boss. Good management is about serving others, providing for others, motivating people, getting work done through others, and streamlining a business toward making a sale. And that's just the beginning. Indeed, some practitioners believe that managers in denial of what's going on in their business is the real number one reason why most businesses fail. Additional managerial problems include an inability to delegate, inflexibility, micromanaging the work of others, or abdicating important work responsibilities. Fortunately, it doesn't take a genius to be a good manager. For the most part, Competent management involves being curious and open-minded, having a good attitude, adopting adequate organization skills, etc. Reason 5. Not understanding the importance of customers. Setting up a new business involves so much work that it's easy to forget about paying customers. Interior design, bookkeeping, product displays, and other non-revenue producing activities, although important, should not be the priority of a business. Successful business operations are reliant upon receiving money from satisfied customers on a regular basis. Yet no matter how simple this concept sounds, it's surprising how many businesses lose sight of it. For example, years ago, a wealthy doctor wanted to purchase industrial-sized washing machines and dryers for the hospitals he owned. He approached me for help, but I didn't have any free time so I referred him to my father, a retired executive who is always looking for something to do. He told me later, over the past month I've contacted every washing machine manufacturer in the country, but no one seems able to answer even my most basic questions, my messages aren't being returned, and I'm tired of begging. What is it that causes people to lose sight of the fact that to make money and survive, a business must focus on its customers? Reason 6. Staffing problems. People problems usually begin by not fully investigating the background of job applicants, failing to fully train employees, or hiring friends and relatives. No matter what the business is, finding honest workers who share the owner's passion and commitment can be an arduous and time-consuming process. To be sure, almost every small business has been forced to hire the first breathing job applicant that appeared in the doorway. That being said, it is possible to entice capable people into joining an organization because it, or the person behind it, impresses them. Don't be the type of boss whose behavior resulted in a prospective employee leaving his or her last job. As an entrepreneur, you may not be able to pay your employees more than your competitors, but you can certainly give them more. Employees should be trained properly and be made to feel useful because people work harder and show more commitment when they feel that they belong to an organization and are being listened to. In any business, employees come and go for any number of reasons, but it only makes sense to try and keep the good ones for as long as possible. High employee turnover is expensive, time-consuming, and draining. For many small businesses, the process of finding good employees begins by placing a classified ad in a newspaper or magazine, sticking a help-wanted sign in a window, or pinning a notice on the bulletin board of a community center, supermarket, or similar venue. This obviously doesn't allow for any screening to take place, but it can result in a larger number of potential candidates from which to choose. Employment agencies are another option, although their services may be expensive. Colleges, universities, and high schools provide an additional hunting ground, particularly when it comes to part-time help. Don't forget to ask friends and business contacts if they know of anyone looking for work. Just be firm in insisting that the people you're seeking must be qualified. Remember to keep a file of all candidates. You may need it in the future. Before a candidate has been selected, check his or her background. 
any claims made on a resume should also be investigated. This will save a lot of time, money, and hassle. Plan the interview process in advance. Prepare a list of questions and try to determine how hungry the candidate is to work. I and others have found many excellent employees by focusing on their desire to work rather than their education and experience. People who are hungry for work are usually committed and want to do well. Again, the more time and effort spent on finding and screening job applicants, the less chance there will be of suffering through the nightmare of staffing problems. Reason 7. Inflexibility. Small businesses should not act like rigid, inflexible corporations. From the business plan, to the marketing campaign, to the importance of finalizing a sale, if something isn't right, it should be changed quickly. Change can happen in one of two ways. It can either be done by you, or it can be used to run over you. Keep in mind the definition of insanity, the constant repetition of a behavior with the expectation of a different result and the perils of inflexibility become more obvious. Persistence is an admirable trait, but when it turns into stubbornness, it can lead to trouble. Examples of inflexibility in a business include not deferring to customer demands, feeling invincible against competitors, and refusing to acknowledge changes in technology, markets, or work practices. Simply put, the role of a business is to sell what customers want to buy, not what the business wants to sell. Reason 8. An inability to sell. Contrary to popular belief, if you build a better mousetrap, the world will not beat a path to your door. Equally as true is that good products and services do not sell themselves. Simply put, the success of every enterprise hinges on its ability to sell, and an ability to sell begins by understanding the basics of marketing, promotion, and human psychology. Additional problems associated with poor marketing and selling include relying too much on one particular customer, not focusing on a particular market segment, not undergoing sales training, and ignoring the competition. To remain solvent, a business must be able to successfully announce to potential customers what is being sold, generate continuous interest and excitement in what is being sold, and finalize a sale before a competitor takes it away. Don't sell yourself short. Reason 9. Not enough capital. Too many new business owners underestimate how much money they need. Not to get their business off the ground, but to keep it running through the first year or so of operations when money is tight. That's not to say that buckets of money are needed to succeed as an entrepreneur. For example, one entrepreneur in the USA made a tidy profit writing and selling a small booklet that contained recipes for 100 different meals made with ground beef. Another American entrepreneur sold fishing lures by doing little more than advertising in a sports journal. For $1 and the cost of postage, Readers were asked to send in an unlucky lure for which they would receive a different lure in reply. The scheme was nothing more than a used product swap, yet no one complained, and it produced a small profit. Unfortunately, most businesses need more than a few recipes or a fishing lure to get started. It's true that most businesses don't make any money during their first year or two of operations. Funding is therefore needed to cover taxes, wages, raw materials, and other costs, as well as the personal requirements of the owner. With this in mind, many successful entrepreneurs suggest pursuing several sources of finance, rather than just one. If possible, they also suggest trying to collect an additional three to six months' worth of extra working capital to put aside for emergencies. If your business idea needs a lot of money to get started, then you're probably thinking too big. Consider starting out smaller. Reason 10. Pricing problems. The price of a product is usually the most significant factor affecting a customer's decision as to whether or not the product will be bought. Equally as true is that a price contains the profit a business hopes to make. Entrepreneurs want to make as much money as they can, while customers want to save as much money as possible. Unfortunately, it's the entrepreneur that usually loses this struggle. 
In a bid to attract customers, the most common pricing mistake made by new businesses is to undercharge or give away labor or materials to attract customers. Yet once a product has been dispensed for free, the business no longer has any leverage to collect payment. Another factor that must be considered when establishing a good price is the amount of time, work, and effort invested in the product or service. Setting a price involves much more than covering expenses or charging what everyone else is charging. In the description below this video, you'll find a link to a page where you can download high-quality business plan templates. It's totally free. Click the link in the description below this video. A business plan allows you to prepare a professional business plan for any business. Is an important and necessary tool for entrepreneurs. A good business plan not only helps entrepreneurs focus on the specific procedures needed to bring their business ideas through to completion, but it also helps them meet short and long-term objectives. These are the 10 reasons why new plastic recycling businesses fail. Reason 1 inadequate planning. Reason two, underestimating the commitment it takes to succeed. Reason three, cash flow problems. Reason four, poor management. Reason five, not understanding the importance of customers. Reason six, staffing problems. Reason seven, inflexibility. Reason eight, poor marketing and an inability to sell. Reason nine, not enough capital. Reason 10, pricing problems. I hope you found this information helpful. If so, please click the like button and leave a comment below. And make sure to subscribe to this channel to get access to more helpful videos. Good luck.